The United States Department of Labor is a cabinet-level department of the U.S. federal government responsible for occupational safety, wage and hour standards, unemployment insurance benefits, reemployment services, and some economic statistics. Many U.S. states also have such departments. The department is headed by the U.S. Secretary of Labor. The purpose of the Department of Labor is to foster, promote, and develop the well-being of the wage earners, job seekers, and retirees of the United States, improve working conditions, advance opportunities for profitable employment, and assure work-related benefits and rights. In carrying out this mission, the Department of Labor administers and enforces more than 180 federal laws and thousands of federal regulations. These mandates and the regulations that implement them cover many workplace activities for about 10 million employers and 125 million workers. The department's headquarters is housed in the Francis Perkins Building, named in honor of Francis Perkins, the Secretary of Labor from 1933 to 1945. History In 1884 the U.S. Congress first established a Bureau of Labor Statistics with the Bureau of Labor Act, to collect information about labor and employment. This bureau was under the Department of the Interior. The bureau started collecting economic data in 1884, and published their first report in 1886. Later, in 1888, the Bureau of Labor became an independent Department of Labor, but lacked executive rank. In February 1903, it became a bureau again when the Department of Commerce and Labor was established. United States President William Howard Taft signed the March 4, 1913 bill, the last day of his presidency, establishing the Department of Labor as a cabinet-level department. William B. Wilson was appointed as the first Secretary of Labor on March 5, 1913, by President Wilson. In October 1919, Secretary Wilson chaired the first meeting of the International Labor Organization even though the U.S. was not yet a member. In September 1916, the Federal Employees' Compensation Act introduced benefits to workers who are injured or contract illnesses in the workplace. The act established an agency responsible for federal workers' compensation, which was transferred to the Labor Department in the 1940s and has become known as the Office of Workers' Compensation Programs. Frances Perkins, the first female cabinet member, was appointed to be Secretary of Labor by President Roosevelt on March 4, 1933. Perkins served for 12 years and became the longest serving Secretary of Labor. During the John F. Kennedy administration, planning was undertaken to consolidate most of the department's offices, then scattered around more than 20 locations. In the mid 1960s, construction on the New Labor Building began and finished in 1975. In 1980, it was named in honor of Francis Perkins. President Lyndon Johnson asked Congress to consider the idea of reuniting commerce and labor. He argued that the two departments had similar goals and that they would have more efficient channels of communication in a single department. However, Congress never acted on it. In the 1970s, following the Civil Rights Movement, the Labor Department under Secretary George P. Schultz made a concerted effort to promote racial diversity in unions. In 1978, the Department of Labor created the Philip Arno Award, intended to recognize outstanding career employees such as the eponymous Philip Arno. During 2010, a local of the American Federation of Government Employees stated their unhappiness that a long standing flex time program reduced under the George W. Bush administration had not been restored under the Obama. Administration. Department officials said the program was modern and fair and that it was part of ongoing contract negotiations with the local. In August 2010, the Partnership for Public Service ranked the Department of Labor 23rd out of 31 large agencies in its annual, Best Places to Work in the Federal Government list. In December 2010, then Department of Labor Secretary Hilda Solis was named the chair of the U.S. Interagency Council on Homelessness, of which Labor has been a member since its beginnings in 1987. In July 2011, the department was rocked by the resignation of Ray Jefferson, Assistant Secretary for Vets, in a contracting scandal. In March 2013, the department began commemorating its centennial. In July 2013, Tom Perez was confirmed as Secretary of Labor. According to remarks by Perez at his swearing-in ceremony, boiled down to its essence, the Department of Labor is the Department of Opportunity.
Topic: Freedom of Information Act processing performance. In the latest Center for Effective Government Analysis of 15 federal agencies which receive the most Freedom of Information Act United States FOIA requests, published in 2015 using 2012 and 2013 data, the most recent years available, the Labor Department earned AD by scoring 63 out of a possible 100 points, i.e. did not earn a satisfactory overall grade. Agencies, boards, officers, programs, library and corporation of the department <laughs> Related legislation <laughs> See also Title 20 of the Code of Federal Regulations Equal Employment Opportunity Commission National Labor Relations Board Occupational Information Network Holland Codes Ticket to Work USA Gov USA Facts Topic Notes and References Topic: Bibliography. Lombardi, John. 1942. Labor's Voice in the Cabinet: A History of the Department of Labor from Its Origins to 1921. New York: Columbia University Press. Topic: External links. Official website. U.S. Department of Labor in the Federal Register